In this video, we will explore adding new columns and changing column names. To recap, in the prior video, we onboard our Acme Undertakings application to the Boardwalk Velocity server, then we downloaded the workbook from the portal and download the data into the workbook. Before beginning this video, we changed from the user mode to design mode. We can see we have our transactions sheet, our dropdown list sheet, which is visible now in the design mode, our EOM report, TXN pivot table and TXN graph sheets are also visible alongside the boardwalk configuration sheets. We will add a column to the dropdown lists. Select advanced from the design framework, then select add new column. A column can be added at the position of the cursor or at the beginning of the cuboid or at the end of the cuboid. We will add the column at the end of the cuboid and call it TXN indicator. Enter the column name in the pop-up window and click on OK. A confirmation window appears. Click on the Yes button. A pop-up window confirming the column has been successfully added shows up. Click on OK to continue. Let us add some values to this column, debit and credit. Anytime we add a column, we need to generate the format for the sheet. This is because the existing format was for the earlier structure, and therefore there is a mismatch between the stored format and the sheet columns. We can test if the format is working. This is how we add columns to a cuboid. Let's now learn to rename columns. We will change the name of the TXN indicator to indicator. Select the TXN indicator column header, click on advanced, then click on rename column. In the pop-up, enter new name and click OK. A confirmation pop-up indicating the column has been renamed shows up. Click on OK to close the pop-up. This is how we change a column name. In this video, we learned how to add a new column to an existing cuboid. It is important to remember that one must regenerate the format of the cuboid once we have added a new column. We also learned how to change a column name. In the next video, we will do a delve in the world of measure formats.